So the impetus with Freeform was really two things. It was a, our growing enrollment and the fact that we wanted to be able to accommodate the students uh, in a way that still provided a personal experience despite the fact that we had many more students in class, but also to kind of curb some bad student behaviors that often come with growth, things like academic dishonesty issues that tend to crop up more when you have more students. And so to deal with that, we really wanted to take the content that had been out there in the community and make it our own, and come up with content that was scalable uh, through the use of multimedia technologies, but also personalized uh, to kind of today's student learners who, you know, really view materials in a very different way than learners of the past, right? They want, they want to be able to engage those materials fully, and they want to be able to do it on a 24-7 basis. Freeform is a unique combination of three different things that we know from established education research work. A highly active classroom, blended materials, so both online and face-to-face -face interactions between the students and the students and the instructor, and a very collaborative space. We know that those work uh, from established practice, but Freeform is a place where all of these are combined together and aligned with each other for some of the most challenging core second and third year courses in STEM classrooms. We've been studying Freeform in the Purdue West Lafayette environment for about two years now, and we've added a few partners at other institutions, and that's really important because when we can add partners at other institutions that are different from Purdue West Lafayette in some important way, we get a lot smarter about how students react to the freeform environment and ultimately how they can be successful. The data that I'm collecting is both a mixture of quantitative and qualitative data. Quantitative from survey data and concept inventories and qualitative data from interviews that we are conducting with both faculty members and students. The, the purpose of collecting both the quantitative and the qualitative data is to try to determine what factors are influencing student successes in the classes and try to, with the qualitative data and the interview data, to try to understand the numerical results that we try to uh, determine a little better. So the next steps with Freeform are really to both mature the content and to expand. So on the maturing the content side, we want to continue to make sure we're using the most new technologies, most up-to-date technologies to make sure that we remain, re remain relevant in the multimedia space, but also make sure that we're adapting the content to as our student body uh, kind of matures and becomes a little different, that the content actually follows them in a meaningful way. And the second thing is we're looking to expand to other partner institutions and really understand how the freeform system works outside of the context of Purdue University. And uh, that means going to very large research schools uh, that kind of mimic Purdue, but ne don't necessarily have the Purdue instructors, but also going to smaller institutions that are more teaching focused and understanding how these materials fit in those type of contexts. There's goals really on our part and the goals that I would think that new adopters would have in coming into to this space. For us, from a research standpoint, we need to understand how this environment works in diverse settings for us to really say that it does work and understand for whom it's working. So we need to look at large institutions and small institutions, institutions that have a public and private mission, um, institutions with different student profiles. For potential new adopters, I think it's an opportunity and uh, um, a goal of theirs uh, to be a part of a, a growing community of practice. It was a struggle in the very beginning um, because it was a different format, um, a little bit different style. However, as the class went on, um, it actually worked out to my favor because it allowed me to have a little more flexibility in my class. It gave my students a lot more resources that they didn't have before and allowed them to do a lot of activities outside of class to be better prepared for the class. One particular case uh, that I can think of that was very beneficial, I tend to do a little more active um, problem solving in my class. So towards the end of class, my students will solve problems on their own. And with the ability of free form and having um, problems worked out online, I did not have to stop my class five minutes to go to go over the answer to make sure everyone was on the exact same page. They were able to go home and no, didn't matter where they were in the problem, they were able to follow up outside of class and ask additional questions outside of class if needed, but allowed me to engage my students all the way to the end and be active with them rather than cutting them short in their work process.